My mother said to me that I had told her when I was a little girl that I wanted to be a priest. She and my dad both said, well, that's wonderful, honey, but, you know, that's just not what girls do. A heated debate has been going on in the Episcopal Church on whether women can serve as priests. There's no reason why uh, a woman couldn't be president or a judge or a number of other things. But the one thing that she absolutely cannot be is a mom. I get so tired of being decided about behind my back. The oppressor cannot be the instrument of the liberation of the oppressed. And yet in this structure, women do not have the power to affect their own liberation. conservative and liberal and progressive and radical and right on the edge. We were not the same by any means. The phones were ringing off the hook. One woman said, are you people going to ordain women there today? And I said, yes, we are. And she said, you're going to split this church right in half. I said, the church is already split in half. That's why we're doing it. Proceedings here enacted are unlawful and systematical. It is simply a role which a woman cannot fill. God shall be called Father, and so shall his priests. There were all these lights, NBC, ABC, CBS, were out there with their big cameras, and it was like, my goodness. It was so clear that we were being called to that day, and we were willing to stand, and we would not be denied this. The Episcopal House of Bishops today ruled invalid last month's ordination of 11 women as priests. We kept going to parishes that want us there as priests. Of course, we're called a bunch of man-hating dykes, bitches and shrews and all of this stuff. At some point, what was going to happen to us, of course, was a big question. The 11 little priestesses all in a row, you know, like the little Indians. <laughs> I'd be delighted if they'd go away. <laughs> I suggest to you that we cannot wait to settle questions of the freedom of all of humanity. Women are either free in our society or they are not. There's a saying, you know, you need to speak the truth even if your voice shakes. And that's, uh, that's what I did. <laughs>